beautiful coastal regions. Every municipality plays host to this sector because everything happens at a certain municipality. Whether those traveling back to their home, visit friends and relatives in our far-flung regions, or those in transit traveling throughout our border, towns of Mosinna, Vicksburg, Emelo, Eburleni, and the like. What we cannot deny is that the world somehow become a smaller place, and the movement of people across the globe is an old civilization, but the ease and the volume of people traveling across the globe today is certainly unprecedented. Today we have included in our understanding people moving, seeking opportunity under the banner of urbanization and also people moving under the duress due to oppression and conflict. Whether permanent or temporary, the movement of people brings challenges to supply shelter, to supply water, food, healthcare, jobs, transport, and other services. And these are often the services delivered by local government, at least working together with provincial and national governments. The shift of people, as well as environmental pressures, among others, have led us to a global society to respond to these challenges. We have agreed on a set of common sustainable development goals supported by the new urban agenda, a climate change agreement, and even at the regional level, Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. Tourism as a sector with all role players must be cognizant of these challenges and respond into them with municipalities localizing global development agenda. The SDGs dealing with developmental of sustainable cities and communities, the provision of water and sanitation, the promotion of the decent work and economic growth, ensuring a healthy environment and well-being, access to affordable, clean energy, are where cities and local government have the biggest role to play in implementing global goals locally. In keeping with these challenges and goals for tourism to be sustainable, it must be considered that the constraint within the region, the country, the city, or our town within which it is located. It cannot remain an illicit activity at odds with the lived experience of local people and where services and infrastructure linked to the tourism activity are incoherent with the sources, resources constraint of the local area. Of course, some of the regards they have been a sustainable gains in the tourism sector. Technology has vaulted ahead of traditional industry models and made improved use existing resources in which we are in which we have come to know and the sharing economy. Transport on demand under utilization of accommodation, just as these technological advances have been radical, the tourism sector together with local government investors and design fraternity need to rethink the location, scale, and accessibility of tourism facilities and destination. Partly this can be achieved through rethinking that tourism has come to mean. From a demand side, would be tourists need to be re-educated regarding their expectations from travel and tourism facility. Because as South African also, we don't even have information about our own country where we can tour. Where's with our own provinces where we come from because they are beautiful sites that we can use. Tourism must operate within the natural resources constraint of the areas it is located within. It cannot remain an illicit activity isolated from local life, but she would view herself as a responsible guest 
who is part of the social made of the hostel or even the city. The new urban agenda, a product of Habitat 3, perhaps best places the emphasis on sustainable urban development as a means to improve social inclusion and to end poverty. We in South Africa feel the effects of both exclusion and poverty due to our unsustainable segregation of the past. The new urban agenda makes a commitment to spatial organization, urban design, infrastructure provision and sustainable delivery of services. The provision of service land and adequate housing as a means to deal with underdevelopment and poverty, the issue will resonate well in the development challenges in South Africa.